Welcome one, oops, and all, <laughs> to another mail time. So, uh, as you know, I'm slowly going through all of these wonderful books. Where does he get these wonderful toys? And I run across some... Wow! Look at it, how good this looks. This has never been read. It does have like a little booger on it. <laughs> but I'll take a booger. It was like three bucks. I love getting used books and finding out they've never actually been used. Oh, it's so great. Anyway, I've been collecting these old books so that I can read them and review them for you. Even though you never asked me to, and you're probably not going to listen to it. But I'm going to do it anyway. So there. Alright, this is the New York Times bestselling Dragonlance Saga series, The Reign of Istar Tales 2, Trilogy, Volume 1. So it's a bunch of short stories. The Reign of Istar, before the Cataclysm. A Kender becomes a Salamnic Knight. Almost. An ogre emerges as an unlikely savior of the dwarven race, and gladiators compete in the blood sport of Istar. Together with a novella by Margaret Weiss and Tracy Hickman, these and more short stories penned by Richard A. Knack, Michael Williams, and others of the original Dragonlance Saga creative team tell wondrous tales of Kryn in the legendary time of the King Priest. Oh yeah, and you can tell someone didn't take care of this. Oh, people. All right, so this is the next Dwarven Nations trilogy after this Tales trilogy is done. Of course, we all know the Chronicles, which are great, and uh, I am not familiar with that at all. So, what are you going to do? Anyway, do you guys have a favorite short story in this collection? Do you have a favorite author? Nancy Varian Berberick has done some good stuff. Of course, Margaret Weiss and Tracy Hickman are great. Uh, Richard Knack is good. Roger Moore is great. Douglas Niles is great. Nick Donahoe. I think he's always done uh, good stuff. Dan Parkinson has done some good stuff. Uh, Michael Williams has done some good stuff. So, you know, it's a packed collection. I don't think I've ever actually like read this particular whole collection, though I know I've read stories that are featured in it that are in other collections. So it has an introduction by Mark Weiss and Tracy Hickman, cover art by Larry Elmore, and interior art by Stephen Fabian. Of course, Valerie Valasek and Stephen Fabian do all of these wonderful interiors. Uh, Fabian does the ones. He actually did all the stuff for the Talada's box set as well, it looks like. That's, that's kind of his style. And the old trilogy of uh, Tales. So that's cool. Valerie Valasek does all the stuff for the traditional books. Where you see, like, there's the ink... Of course, the very first one wasn't done by her. It was done by, um, okay, I can't remember his name, but he was great as well. So definitely got to give props out when I can remember his duck on name. <laughs> great little introduction. What's great about this is that, you know, Dragonlance was set in the era of the War of the Lance, in the Age of Despair, right? Like 350 years after the Cataclysm. But it referenced everything that happened in and before the Cataclysm, all the way back to like the third Dragon War with Huma, banishing the Queen of Darkness. And so you are immediately introduced to this campaign setting that is ripe and rich with ancient, his, like millennia old ancient history. And so the Legends trilogy act as a sequel and a prequel to the Chronicles, which was a great way of a sort of throwing us back in time and letting us see Istar before the Cataclysm. And then, of course, seeing what happened afterward. After the War of the Lance and stuff, and with the Blue Ladies' War and the outcome of that. But this is the first collection where we actually travel back and visit all sorts of other characters and situations before uh, the Cataclysm. So this is really our first glance into uh, what life was like outside of Legends, before the Cataclysm. And that's very, very cool. All right, so back to the question. Do you guys have a favorite author or um, blah, blah, blah? Short story here. Uh, I'm just sort of looking at this. The Silken Threads, I believe that was in the, um, it deals with Lord Soth, I think. Oh, gosh, 
gosh, I'm trying to remember. It's been so long. Anyway, I'll let you know here in a little bit. Let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. And as always, until next time, it's Lon Javar. Thank you.